Welcome back to Metroid Prime 2, Dark Echoes. That was for my Japanese friends who I'm oh, sure okay. are watching. Yes, a Absolutely. Well, uh, we're going to be uh, jumping into another gameplay aspect of the game today. Probably the most important one. It's the Dark World. Oh yeah! Let's go to the Dark World! We're going to finally be jumping into it today. Awesome. We're going to see how dangerous it is and how much more difficult this game will get as a result. We're gonna go to the Dark World Brewery, grab a pint with all the demons that are in there, all the thieves and Wait for all down. this Dark Aether stuff to blow over. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right, so, wake up. <laughs> go, go to the Dark World. Wake up, kill Ridley. <laughs> go to the Dark World. Sorry. Have a pint. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, now I'm actually visualizing like Sam is holding up just a, a baseball bat and is over Ridley and just a, sorry. Got a bit of green on you. <laughs> <laughs> I understood that reference. Yes, yes, I understood it. Yes. So anyway, we're gonna go take out Ridley in the dark world. Actually, what would be in the dark world? Well, why don't we go find out? We're gonna, we're um, we're going there right now. We're going to the place that we need to go to get to the dark world. So, are you allowed to spoil if the Dark World is an exact replica of what we're seeing right now, or is it different? Well, it's it's similar. Similar. I wouldn't say an exact replica, but it, it's basically they have a planet, and then they had another planet, and they made a planet out of that planet, and now that planet's the planet of this planet, because it's dark and evil. Hmm. It's generally the same. It's dark and evil. Hey! Can you really say that with confidence? I mean, what if it's just misunderstood? Well, seeing what the Ing have been doing to my friends, uh, I'm gonna have to go and agree with them being dark and evil. Hey, what if the people we're helping right now are secretly the bad guys? Wouldn't that be a plot twist for the ages? Well, seeing as how the pirates are uh, hanging out around here a lot, I got a feeling that they're probably not on our side. So I think I think we're doing good stuff here by, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, no. Ooh, dark pirates. Oh, dark pirates. Awesome. Let me just, uh, oh, they didn't like this. They don't like this. Oh, they, they're no, not this fans. is not what they want. Uh-oh. Now we have dark pirate troops. Oh, God. Okay, that's kind of awesome. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm glad that the, it, it's the Ing, right? It, it, it's, well, the Ing are what they are, but this is just, you know, just darkness. Well, I just love that the darkness is not taking anyone's side. It's just like, hey, I'm, I'm going to infect you. And you're going to become more powerful, but you're going to hate it. The darkness is on Dark Samus's side. Put it I, that I, way. I like that lady. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go take these guys out. Yeah. So how more powerful are they? I, I see they're doing some damage. They're quicker. They take probably one more, ch one or two more charge shot or missiles, maybe a bit more. But yeah, more health, more damage, more speed, more bad. Big boost in defense. I saw. Yeah, they're tanking missiles now. <laughs> Jesus, it's, it's, they're tanking shots. It's the difference between a Squirtle and a War Turtle. We'll put it that way. It's a level 16 problem we have going on right yeah, there. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say so. That's so. pretty bad. Anyway, we've destroyed the Dark Pirates. So next place we got to go through is here. But the thing is, the bomb gate is kind of trapped in another dimension. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? It's in another dimension. 50% of it is... In the dark world. So the 50% of that matters is the part that makes it, you know, work, but the other 50%, you know, the mechanism part, is in the dark world. So we have to go to the dark world. Oh, crap. That's not good. <laughs> but the thing about Metroid Prime games is that if you're, like... So, at, at the top of that ramp is a portal we can use to get to the dark world. Okay. We have to activate this portal first. But first, uh, we got this lore. The main energy controller was built in the Great Temple. Three sub controls in the sanctuary. Selected the energy of ether that radiated all over the world. It's basically talking about how the, how the temples take the energy from the planet and spread it all around there. It's kind of how they work, you know. Okay. Psycho, magi technology, kind of magical realism. Da 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 do. Sci fi is great. Awesome. So, now we gotta get to the process of turning on this portal so we can get over there and figure out what to do. And we can't just, like, bang on the door and say, hey, Dark World, open up! There really is no door to bang. No, don't bang a door. We nope. do have this starting. Did that work? We basically gotta harness enough of energy from those three mirrors there to make to kind of power this thing on. Oh. We got a little guy here called a pill Pillbug. Bug. <laughs> we'll be going through morph ball mode, so we won't be able to scan them. Good to do it here. 
Wait, did that say vulnerable to concussions? Concussive blasts. Okay. <laughs> but I imagine if, you know, it could have concussions if it were, you know, had more of a... <laughs> just... Of a vertebrae. You know, just give it a football helmet and tell it to <laughs> run, the, run all the yards and then it gets rammed by another dude. So by hitting that lock, it turns this, which also summons some lovely war wasps. How oh, nice. Uh, no hive I can see, so I think they're just kind of hanging around. You know, those lone wasps, the worst kind. Hey, what's up, Samus? Hey, what's up? Yeah, hey, hey, hey how you doing? Hey, have we stung you yet? Uh, no, you haven't and you never will. Nah, don't worry, I'm dead. Alright, round two. Gotta go over there. I mean, I can probably shoot up the pill bugs from over there, but probably no point. That's the fun thing about these Metroid Prime games that I'm finding out through these playthroughs. Every single room is so intricately designed, it's just like, okay, here, here's the puzzle. Don't screw it up, but, you know, you're gonna have fun while getting to your next objective. Especially in this game, just even the simple hallways offer so much environmental design. And just, just, just setting. Hey, what's up, Samus? We're more, back. More wasps. Hey, it's, did my brother sting you yet? It's Bravo Team here. Do you want to get stung? Uh, no, but, I mean, I think you just guys, you're, I, th I think they were just looking at me. <laughs> Not really doing anything. <laughs> Should, uh, should we sing, or I mean, I'm uh, not sure what she's doing here. What's what's the end? Hey, game? it's my first day. What do we do with this chick? I, I, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm, we're working for Alpha Team, but I'm <laughs> not, not getting any calls. I mean, hey, Broad, how do you die? <laughs> well, what's that? You don't? Ah, crap. Hmm. Well, so much for that. Things are hard to kill. Kind of annoying. Best to be avoided. And there's a the last one. Cool. Off to the dark world, friend. Harnessing the power of the sun. Maybe of the gaseous light. Oh yeah, it is the sun! Harnessing a lot of light energy, and you know how light and dark work, so it powers this terminal. Which means it just got a lot more shadowy over in the dark world. Well, I can see how these guys are chosen adjacent. Definitely. Using the power of the sun to power the portals to the dark realm. One All has, right. has been activated. We're ready to go. <laughs> Time to do three more. Nope, it's it's ready. Okay. It's all set. That, that to was our... the dark world! That was our three. Here we go. Analysis complete. Go to the dark world. Say hello to H.R. Geiger. Ooh, that's a cool effect. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I like that. So this is the real big uh, gameplay selling point for Metroid Prime 2. The Dark World. This is also why this game is really hard. Time limit plus harder enemies in the Dark World equals headache. Let's put an asterisk on time limit. Oh, okay. Doesn't seem so bad. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! <laughs> Spoke too soon! Patui. We made it. Okay, doesn't look too, too bad. Oh, right, there's the, the energy fields. So we have remnants of these light crystals that kind of protect us from the harshness of the atmosphere. That's the way to show you that. Ow, it really stings. That's really ouchy, hurty, bad okay. stuff. Okay. Just so gotta run over there. So we gotta jump from portal to portal, basically. Oh god, you actually have to jump into it. Uh -huh. And just, like, take the damage. That glowing, sucks. Glowing safe zones protect you from Dark Aether's atmosphere, and they also heal you. Hmm. That's actually awesome. So we have here a couple things we can scan, like this blade pod here. Oh. It looks like a, a pea pod that's just tired of living. Does it make, like, vile green beans or something like that? Uh, well, it, it could, it, it but it also, <laughs> it also creates, uh, you know, energy pickups and missile pickups if it wasn't so fucking stingy. Sheesh. Alright. So another thing we can do here is, uh, we can, uh, well, wait. Uh, up, up, uh -huh. yeah, we'll get there. Okay. Awesome. Scan this little guy up here. It's a light crystal. <gasps> oh, are they movable? These don't move. Damn. Can't move the uh, energy fields, and well, they move. That's on. probably for the best. They move on their own. You're kind of at the mercy of Dark Ether here. Okay. Ooh! You can shoot that, and they show up, but uh, oh, they don't last forever. They don't I last saw. forever. They'll start flashing, and then they'll go away. But you can shoot them again. Okay, cool. Yeah, 
It does feel like we're in a different area that's just not very friendly. Yeah. But hey, here we are. So here's this. That's nice. Very cool. That opens up that portion in the light world, as you just saw. So can we not go... Well, it's gonna hurt, but... We could! Let's go! Ah, ow, ah, ow, ah, ow, ah, ah, shoot ah, that ah, thing! Shoot. <sighs> yeah, that burns. That's yeah. like being in lava. There are ways to reduce the burning later on, but right now we just gotta grin and bear it. <laughs> it's an inglet. <laughs> it's a lilling. A lilling. Morphing bio Ew, it's like a slime. Yeah. Easily killed, though. That's good. They take pot shots at you and keep you from just sitting here and turtling up and healing. But I want to stay in the healing section. This is dangerous and it's part of the reason why this game is so difficult. Okay. Right. Let's go! <laughs> not a <upper> shut up! <laughs> Got it! Okay. Not bad, not bad. Oh, uh, 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 yeah, that's equivalent to lava damage. That's rude. Well, you know, you're gonna make a sequel, make it bigger, better, harder. This is actually a great way to get introduced to Dark Ether. Actually, yeah, I was just thinking, this isn't too much of a kick in the face yet. It's a bit of a difficulty lurch if you think that the game's just gonna be Metroid Prime 1 all over again. Ow, 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 uh, that's... Is that a safe station here in the Dark World? Yes, it is! Holy crap, it's a safe station in the Dark World! Well, they put one here. Imagine if they had a safe station that wasn't protected by one of those crystals. So when you come back to your game, you're just <laughs> ow, dead. Ow, 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 ow. Oh god, gamer, I had a nightmare that I was constantly getting hurt while you were gone. Please don't ever do that again. Okay. Uh... Oh, here we go. Ooh. Night barb is a... Huh. That's the equivalent of those formation bats, right? Basically. Alright. Ow. 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 Still hurts, still hurts, still hurt. Ooh. <sighs> Alright. Cool. Can't stay here forever, so yeah. Let's go over here. I feel like you should follow the... Oh, <laughs> boy. Follow the light crystal road. Follow the light crystal road. Hello. Ew! It's one of the shadow things that... Oh, that's that, that's that's a big boy. Yep, not a fan. That's a warrior-ing. Oh! These are the... This is one of the guys that uh, took out Bravo Team. Ew! Mm -hmm. Let's kill it. Let's kill it fast. So do all the ing have like this puddle effect? Or is it just a couple of uh, enemies? It's the most frequently seen here in the dark world. Okay. And so maybe that's just a just a dark world thing. A lot of bosses can do this too. These things are just not nice and believe me, there's nobody better for the job than Samus Aran to take out these guys. <laughs> no, I'm just reminded of the episode where uh, Squidward goes to the place where all the other squids are and everything's exactly the same. God. For the ing, if you come to the dark world, you get the puddle effect. <laughs> Canned bread! Huh? Can't go through there. Ah. That looks like something. That mm. looks like ick. That looks like a lot of ick. Oh. Here we have movable uh, guys. You can't really kill them, thankfully. These are light bringers. They oh. well, <laughs> they bring, bring light. The light. <laughs> oh, man, that's so clever. Immune to most forms of most forms. Uh oh. Because I'm pretty sure if you wanted to, you could probably kill that thing. But <laughs> as things stand now, there is no way. <laughs> you just start shooting it. Stop it. Stop <laughs> it. Stop it. Stop it. I'll take the light if you don't. Well, there's no, there's a portal back there, but we kind of really can't. Uh, yeah. Kind of get, kind of can't get through there at the moment. Well, that's a later problem. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, we gotta kind of loop around here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, you go. Made it. Ah, come on, this is rookie stuff. This might not be though. I don't think these things hurt you. Well, that's good. I mean, they bring the light. And they are they are good. It wouldn't make sense for them to hurt me. Yeah. You got a lot of jagged uh, crystal parts, I get that, but... I would find it funny if they just randomly lowered their shield if you tried to shoot them. It's like, okay, you want to be that way? Uh-huh. Miss well, Smart Bounty Hunter? Well, like a Tesla car? <laughs> it just gives up. It just gives up right before impact. <laughs> Look at these unbreakable windows. <laughs> oh, uh... 
Oh, uh, no, it's, it's more for the back windows. Let me try it again. Well, their spirit isn't broken, at least. That's good. Buy a Tesla, please. These, these windows will keep on believing. Mm -hmm. These windows to the dark world can never break. It's still my bed. Was that a boss I was talking about? No, this is our boss. Oh, hi, boss. This is, this is it. Oh, he, hmm. The, the jump guardian? This is one of the guys who stole one of our equipment pieces. Oh. He stole our space jump boots, and he's like, well, I'm gonna make this work. Well, I'm gonna get that back. I'm gonna get that back, and I can make shockwaves appear when I land. Ew, gross. Not but, a fan of that. Uh, very susceptible to charge blast, though. Ooh, has a shield, too. Yeah, a yep. lot of these. Jump it. Ah, these things have Ooh, shields. Ooh, that, that hurts. hurts. That hurts, and it also interrupts your charge me if you're looking for that. Oh, that sucks. But hey, this is okay. I see a pattern. I shall follow pattern. And you can see that we're automatically healing. A very good introduction to the dark world, I gotta say. Yes. Not bad, guys. See, I thought it was just gonna be, you know, it's just a jump in difficulty, but then I remembered, oh yeah, this is retro. They know what they're doing. It's a, it's a relentless, constant, yet easy incline in difficulty. It's like a very large ramp. It's easy to walk up, and I'm, I'm having, I'm having an okay time, but it, it just keeps going up. It doesn't plateau, it doesn't, you know, sharply increase, it just keeps steadily going up and doesn't really stop. And then it eventually becomes 90 degrees, and then you're wondering why you're falling backwards. Okay, there's one ledge. <laughs> there's one ledge you have to climb up, but uh, they they uh, put a, they put a couple of ropes in there in later versions. So it's if fine. If you're playing the Wii version, you're playing the, uh, I'd say, better version of this game. Would you call it definitive? Or is this the definitive version? Uh, I would call uh, the Wii version probably the, the definitive one for a few reasons. First of all, because this game, I think, was made in, like, what, 18 months? Ooh, that's a very small development time. That is time. a very small development time, and, you know, crunch uh, ideas or whatever. If this is... If they made this in 18 months... Yeah, that's impressive. Holy crap! Well, that's also, like, the Melee thing. Now I'm I'm learning that a lot of GameCube games were just like, Okay, yeah, bring out the next one. Come on. You don't have a lot of time, bring and, out the and, games. And they, and they did good, they did, they did great. If they did all this in 18 months, yeah, there's some mistakes and some balance issues, but they, 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 they churned this out? Amazing! So that leads me to believe that the dev kit for the GameCube must have been like the easiest thing to develop for in the world. Well, compared to the Xbox, the PlayStation 2, I'm pretty sure it's pretty easy to make stuff for the GameCube. The yes. thing is, it's expensive to make things for the GameCube, which is why the third party doesn't work, so, work out so well. Yeah, that's a shame. But hey, we can jump now. We can jump! And, and the, stick the landing. Not to mention the special discs you had to make, and not just, you know, your yeah, box standard DVDs. not actual DVDs. But we got the Space Jump boots on our regular 9-inch mini disc. All right! Or however, like, 6-inch, 5-inch? I love the GameCube it's discs. Bitty, They're just so itty-bitty. I know. It's great. I used to have a carrying case that could carry, like, 18 GameCube discs. You can just slide them in there, and I could fit the entire thing in my pocket. Playing Dreamcast for a while, then jumping to GameCube, and opening up Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, and seeing that disc for the first time, it was a little bit of culture shock, I gotta tell you. <laughs> Ah, what the? Okay. Okay. So these things, you, you destroy yes, them and explode. they turn into their own little shield, but once those go away, they're gone for good. Oh, nice. Or until the enemy comes back. Ow, 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 ow. So enemies are temporary, and there's the shields <laughs> they make are temporary. Light crystals are forever. Right. Ow, 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 ow. Let's just keep going. Let's keep going. It's fine. It's fine. fine. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. We're like, good. We're like good. I said, Sam, it's not up or shut up. We're still fine. So we can scan that. And this just activates light portal. Ow, you, you, ow, you, you, ow, you could ow. always go back. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> I just love that you're still outside the portal. It's just like, did I get it? Hurry up. Skip cutscene. Hurry. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. All right. Give me in the light world. Give me in the light world. We gotta scan the portal, of course. Ooh. Kinda reminds me of, like, a prototype screw attack. Well, phew, that was... That was agonizing. Good job, everybody. We made it through the Dark World. I hope we never have to go to the Dark World again. <coughs> <coughs> so, uh... Yeah, about, uh, about how long is this game? It's, uh... Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll get to it when we get to it. But we are back in the light world, and we're gonna spend the rest of the. Oh, oh, rest hello, of the boys! No, they want they want another round. Well, uh, we're, for the rest of this, we're gonna be moving on just a little bit, and then we're gonna be getting some expansions. Woo! 
Ooh, like DLC? It's more like added missile extensions that we can get now. That's oh, it's easy to get. Heck yeah. Because until we get to this boss, we're gonna need to get every single power up and pick up that we can. Uh oh. It is crucial. Especially the E tanks. Is there oh raise? my god, the E tanks. Oh, you had to scan the Dark World portal. Yep, you gotta scan the portal. Now that just looks like a virus. You couldn't scan it when you first activate it because the cutscene plays automatically and you just get dragged in already. Gotcha. So we can leave that portal open, nothing bad will happen. <laughs> What's more important is this door that we've opened. I'm just imagining the narrator comes in, something bad will happen. <gasps> oh, we got a ramp. Gonna get one of these eventually, I'm sure. Um, and just for free, lovely missile pack. Yet this is our what fourth missile pack? Sounds right. Yep, that's right. You need to know how many missile how many missile expansion we got. Just take our max missiles, divide by yeah, you know, divide by five, and then take away five. Ow. Well, take away five, divide by five. That's oh, what we so we got four. Now we're gonna get some more. But first, a save. Just a quick one to get our uh, get our health back, because we got to head back to the temple grounds for a lot of this. She looked a little defeated just standing there in the save station. This is what happens when you don't save. She just goes, uh, "All right, <sighs> your funeral." You, you say so. Yes, I know the capture is bugging out. I have remedied this since. It's all good. It's all good. We're still in the opening. It's fine. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's okay. Besides, let's be honest. We've uh, completed our exciting stuff for this episode. We're just getting some extras to get us prepared for the next episode, which is where things are going to get fun. Yeah, I like fun. So now that they've introduced Dark Samus, they've introduced the Dark World, they've mm -hmm. introduced the, the Ing and the mm -hmm. Luminoth and the Space Pirates are all here. It's five things going on at once. Holy shit, there's a lot happening on this planet. Remember back in Metroid Prime 1, there was like, oh, I think there might be some pirates over in that area over there. And It'll I think take you a little bit to get over to where they are. And that's that. There's like some other things going on in this world. That's, that's about it. But here, stuff is always happening. Uh, you just reminding me of PJ from, <laughs> from Goof Troop. <laughs> oh, man. No, oh, oh, man. There's some space pirates over there, man. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's going into you're going into Morty, Morty territory. territory. Oh, all right, Morty, we gotta we gotta go to to, to Ether <laughs> Desert. Uh, uh, dark, dark dark matter. That's actually really good. It helps to be to know how to burp on cue. Justin, prepare your retirement. Yeah, well, you, you should have retired like years ago. And now you can finally get your third voice. <laughs> finally. So we got the space jump. We still oh we can oh, get yeah. up here. Hey, all, right. all right. I actually didn't think you could make that. Ooh. Are we doing the fabled sequence break? It's not really sequence breaking, we are just getting extra missile expansions. I'm down for That's that. That's all we're doing. Are we stealing it from the bodies of Bravo team? <laughs> uh, well, hmm. <laughs> Well, I would like to make clear that uh, I think the creature that stole our missile launcher is still out there. Wait, what do you mean? We only picked up a spare. Oh. We picked up a spare missile launcher. I'm pretty sure that the creature that stole our missile launcher is still out there. I'm not 100% certain. It might be dead and turn into another missile expansion that we can pick up, but it's, uh... There's a little something to keep in mind. We got, we got a spare that Bravo team had lying around. I actually did not know that. It was in a, it was in a crate. Hmm. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Ooh. Yeah, we haven't been up here yet. Nice. And yoink. Free missile. God. Bravo team, bunch of idiots. They didn't even see the missile expansion up here. God. At least they could have lived for at least five more minutes. They could have at least killed you know one and a half more ing. I mean, jeez. Yeah, one and a half more ing. I actually like that that, <laughs> that estimate. It's a very generous estimate. Spread across five ing, of course. But. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh shit! We took out about thirty-five percent of five singular ings. We did it, sir. Uh, how many missiles did you use? Twenty. Uh, We're empty, sir. We've been using coke cans. <laughs> Drink faster, Larry. <laughs> I'm gonna puke! <laughs> 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 
Ooh. Did you shoot that or did it just explode? I shot a missile at it. Okay, cool. <laughs> like, I looked away for one second and something exploded in a in a shriek. Just some annoying war wasp hives. I don't like these it's things. It's fine. I'm a lot more courageous now than I was then, of course. I would just play the game with the sound turned down. Oh, yeah, because you... But now it's like, I got missiles! Fuck out of my way! I'm just thinking, what is it about bees that you don't like? Is it the buzzing? Uh, the, the buzzing I definitely don't like. The, uh, dangerous, deadly stingers they have is also not good. The, the hives trigger my tryptophobia. Is it a fight or flight that ends up happening whenever you start to hear the buzzing? Yeah, and I see one. Yeah, I not. don't. I don't like bees. That's just my thing. That's fine. I mean, I don't like spiders, so there we go. That's well, why I play games that have tons of spiders. Well, spiders kill bees, so they're my friends. Yeah. Hmm. Now, speaking of spiders killing things, uh, deadly creatures. <laughs> <laughs> it's a game that exists. Yes, it is. I, I remember how it was advertised. It's like, look how good the graphics are. Look how good the spider looks. <laughs> no thanks. Ooh. You're treating great biomatter. Yeah, okay. Hmm, I'll just pop that zit when we get to it. And... D just a slightly bit lost, because we got, th like, there's a whole cluster of uh, things we got to get here. And, ah, here, okay, here's where we got to go. All right, got it. Got to go back into the temple. Got to go read some hymns or something. We got, yeah, there's another uh, missile expansion up in here that we can that we can grab. Okay, that was a fun effect. You wouldn't have been able to see it on the TVs that were available at the time when the GameCube was big. But that platform totally shrank into the ceiling <laughs> and then cut to the transition on the elevator. That's a good effect. Yeah, they did some clever, uh, some clever programming things to make the game run as well as it does. You kind of had to back in the day. Yeah. Because the technology just wasn't as big. Like, what would you say? PS2, most powerful console at the time? Oh, God, no. That's Xbox. Oh, Xbox had it? Definitely. Oh, shit. I underestimated it. Sorry, Xbox. See, you had all that power, but you didn't have any fucking games. That's the problem. They, had, <laughs> yeah. they spent all this power on, on great uh, hardware, but when it came to software, they were kind of lacking. Was... Maybe, that, maybe that's why Microsoft is buying all these companies, because all their IPs suck! <laughs> well, no, 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 now the IPs that they actually have are sucking more, so good job. You ruined your main franchises. I, I thought of that burn this morning, so... Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to save that one for later! Oh, hold on, guys. I've got new material. Xbox sucking. Ha <laughs> ha <laughs> Yeah! Zing! Fucking I am on the forefront of comedy. I'm a trailblazer! Goddamn got him. <laughs> God, God, oh God, my God. So good. Oh. oh, Bill Gates turning over in his eventual grave. His, his uh, diamond-encrusted, platinum-sealed... <laughs> 24 karat hope diamond grave. Mr. Gates, do you, ha do you have any last regrets? UDJ burned my Xbox. <laughs> uh, uh. Who the hell is UDJ? <laughs> and they'll never know about they'll the man who know. burned Bill Gates. Steve Wozniak? No, 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 no. Oh, come on, man. Wait a minute. Uh, pull up the mask. Oh, my God, Steve Wozniak. <laughs> You've been here the entire time. Nolan Bushnell. <laughs> it's a... Scooby-Doo of the tech world. <laughs> <laughs> we can scan these now, that's right. Oh, hey, cool. We got the Violet Translated one from that uh, one Luminoth guy. Oh. That was, cool. that was cool of him. This creates a loop back to our ship, basically. Ooh, fantastic. I was wondering if we were going to be able to get back to our ship eventually. So we don't have to go through the hive again in order to, you know, get back to our ship and all that. Because there's still stuff, you know, th there's like a whole other room where our ship is that we can't get through. Okay. But the problem is we have to go through that hive again. What's one more time? What's one more time for all Nothing. time? Who knows? We might have missed something. Matter of fact, uh, we missed two things. Like a missile? There are two missile expansions down there. Oh, really? So we, well, now, now we can get them because we got, you know, bomb and missiles and nice, confidence dude. and all that. So, uh, we'll, we'll hop yep. on down. There we go. It was, it was fun to have a, a passing wave to our ship. Hi, guys. Uh, wait, hello, hidden boss. Wait, what? Uh-oh. Dark missile trooper! Okay, that's awesome. That's the guy that took our missile launcher! That's awesome. Oh my god, a hidden boss. 
Oh shit, yeah! Just come down here and oh shit, yeah, die! Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah! Well, I got missiles too! <laughs> Let me show you what how you're gonna do, huh? Yeah, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, huh? Hey, you want some of this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, what's I can up? dodge out of the way. You're what's a you're, you're a slow moving humanoid. <laughs> I'm at least you know semi faster. You know, yeah. Fifty five percent bird at this point. Yeah, you know, two miles an hour. You, you got gotcha. you. Not much of a boss if you could just strafe around him the entire see, time. See, it's not not very good to you know re reanimate something that's already gone through rigor mortis. It's kind of <laughs> stiff, but uh, yeah, that was our missile expansion basically. I don't know if he had it and he found it, then he got attacked by the ing <laughs> or what. But we, well, it's, oh, it's God, ties up amazing. that loose thread. Yeah, right? that's amazing. There's one more down here we can get though. You know, Ooh. while while we're here and have to yeah. you know go all the way back and everything. So I just saw something while you were targeting him. Mm -hmm. Every time you charge your beam, you could actually see it on your HUD. That's right, and I think uh, you can change the ch the level of charge as well. Ooh. So before it's done, you can still shoot a charged beam. Yeah, uh, which just not as, as charged. Won't be as powerful. Kind of keeping the pace up and making so you don't have to just keep massing, mashing A all the time in order to, to, to get some decent damage, I guess? It just it just feels smoother and more streamlined and just mm -hmm. better all around. Well, I should hope with a sequel you, you know, advance on what you have made before. That's the idea. So far, so good. Right, here we go. This guy right here. Pop that. There we go. It was sickening. All right, we are now caught up for missile expansion. Nice. Got a smooth. Uh, what is that? Fifty missiles. Yeah, it's uh, Let's fifty see. missiles and nine. We got nine expansions right now. Wow. So looking pretty good. Dang. There really isn't any uh, save place nearby, so we're gonna have to make a little bit of a detour and head back to the ship. No more passing waves to the ship, we're actually gonna go to it proper. We're gonna go to it proper, you know, give it a check. I feel like we gotta, you know, check on it every so often, make sure it doesn't get stolen. Maybe just pet it a little bit, it's like, who's your good ship? Who's little... being a good ship? I could go for a little positive reinforcement towards my ship. Who's a good ship that looks bad. like my helmet? Yeah, well. Aww. Gosh, after Metroid Dread, what's it gonna look like now? <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> It'll be a little more rebellious this time. It's a technodrome. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, ship? Well, still being worked on, it seems, and they're just, uh, yep. Oh, they are working on it! Yep. It's just it, it's kinda... On, it's on fire! Kinda auto-repair, I figured they'd wanna put the fires mm -hmm. out first, but maybe they put the fires out and then they start it again. Maybe that's know. how they're welding? I don't know. Uh, uh, it'll, it'll get figured out, no worries. Well, that'll do for a good chunk of Metroid Prime 2. Next time! Things are gonna get fun. They're not already fun? Oh, they're gonna get even more- I'm having a blast! Oh, they're gonna get more fun, trust Ooh. me! Oh, yeah. We're gonna get to the reason why Metroid Prime 2 is so much better than Metroid Prime 1, because stuff will actually happen more. I can't wait. And I'm sure you can't wait either, but you're gonna have to wait, so we'll just see you next time. Bye! Bye! Bye.